There is a potential that Diddy could spend the rest of his life in prison. Oh, very real possibility. You know, Diddy should start counting his days. Horrifying allegation in Cassie's lawsuit, and now the Fed raids on his homes. It's only a matter of time before he's behind bars. Did R. Kelly ever get raided? I believe so, yeah. When? Uh, his house got raided. His house got raided? Yeah. Uh -huh. Um... Uh -huh. But that, but what were they rating for? I think to like find if sex, kids was sex, sex, sex tapes and stuff yeah, like see, that, which they found. See if kids which was locked found. in. Yeah, yeah. Which they found. Um, those are underage, right? Um, some were, some were. Where they end up getting him? I think he he didn't even get get convicted of that. I think he got convicted of trafficking, trafficking sex trafficking, sex, trafficking. Yeah. flying people out for the reason of sex. Yeah, see, that's so, what he got convicted for. So most likely, it it it, it looked like. Um, anything where whatever they're after, they don't get, so they try to compromise him somewhere else to make him guilty on something else. Does he do time? I I, I don't know because we don't know what they're going to try to get him with. What what we hear like like underage? I don't think I don't know if that's a real thing, right? I don't think that's a real thing when there's like underage kids. With like Kelly? I'm, no, with Puff. See, I yeah, I mean, there are allegations. You know, what they're going to get him for is pretty clear to me. But trust the feds to have something up their sleeves. I mean, having free coughs and wild parties is no one's problem. Now, what he might get nailed for is coercing others to join in. Girl went through some tumultual sh that she never thought that she would ever have to go through being in the music business. Do you understand that? I've, I've been next to... People who are top in the game, in the music business. And they have said to me, yo, I had to suck a lot of to get to this position. You understand? They have said that. So I can imagine what that little girl went through With old boy. She ain't lying that thing. Because if she would have lied. He would have fought her. Tooth and nail. He would have fought her. Tooth and nail bro. Don't get it messed up. Uh. He would have fought her. Tooth and nail. That little girl ain't lied. Nothing that. She ain't lied about none of that. Do you know what she's going through? Do you know what she's going to go through for the rest of her life? Her kids going to go back and see this on the internet? Controlling. My position on him, he was never a father figure, bro. You understand? He was a groomer. He was a, he was, a, he was, he was an addict. He was somebody that was a, what you, what you call those I, I've lost all of my terminologies <laughs> when I was working as a uh, a BCW or uh, a child abuse worker. But he was an individual that preyed on this young girl using her dreams, her talents, holding it hostage for his own benefit. He groomed her. He wasn't no father. He was no father figure to her, bruh. Although most of the lawsuits are civil, elements of crime are in them, with Ventura claiming that she was raped and subjugated to years of violence. With anything. I mean, it looks bad. I mean, social media is having a field day. They're calling him the diddler, and uh, they're saying no diddy whenever they say something questionable. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it's not really up to social media or the public. It's really up to the authorities. And unlike an R. Kelly, Puffy has hundreds of millions of dollars, and he's going to be able to get the absolute best defense. And, you know, ultimately, we'll see what happens in the courtroom. Mark Curry, you worked at Bad Boy Records. You know Diddy well, uh, worked with mm -hmm. him for him. Are you surprised by the revelations and by the FBI involvement? Uh, to me, it, it took me by shock because um, it's, it's almost like karma. It's almost like what, what, what he's been doing, a lot of people accuse him of putting them through in life is actually he, it's his time to... Um, honestly have to go through the same things.
So during those tribulations, what we had to learn was to just stay and fight and just do what you got to do. And so if he has the fight in him, like Velaz says, then, you know, we're going to say that he's guilty until he's proven guilt. I mean, he's innocent until proven guilty. And we let the justice system do what they have to do because it's people that's in place that, that get paid to actually investigate these things. So um, it's a, it was a shock, but it's a very it's very much a shock. It's something that I, I have a hard time believing in. What was he like to be around when you were working with him? You know, it's, it's his way of the highway, you know, very controlling. It's, um, he's a strong-headed person. Um, you know, it's cool working with him, but it's, it's, it's doesn't create, it doesn't create, you know, like working with him and being famous with him and not having everything to go to, to along with the show is just the thing. So um, he's he's selfish. He's a very selfish individual. He wants the spotlight on him. He wants to be a rapper. So really, he's a rapper and not a business. He wants he, he, Bad Boy is a business. It's a label. <clears throat> so he's a rapper on the label. So he's not just a label. He's a rapper. So it's it's Russell Simmons is not a rapper, or you don't. Um, um, so you know, it's just one of those kind of situations. There, you know. Was he um, from your experience? Was he a misogynist? In a way. And before we do, let me ask you this. Can we break that word down right fast one time? So I want everybody to understand what that word is. You ask a question. A misogynist? What is it? Misogynist, yeah. Okay, explain that word for me, please. Well, misogyny is where a man would uh, be instinctively, inherently hateful towards a woman because she's a woman. Uh, and a lot of people feel a lot of uh, lyrics in rap music and rappers over the years have been brazenly mm -hmm. misogynist because actually a lot of their fan base like them to be. Uh, w w yes, you, you know, when you can say something like that, um, when you think about being famous and then you think about a female, sometimes a female can get the same energy that you get from being famous just by having her, her sexual organs. So, Yes, you, you have men that come in competition with women over there. The elephant in the room is that the grand jury looms. Now, the domino effect started with that first lawsuit. Now, it looks like everybody's out for blood and the feds will give it to them. Trafficking. And you've seen a lot of reels been coming up about, yeah, that's his, uh, that, that gentleman was arrested. Um, his drug mule. Drug mule, exactly. And, um, you know, his homes were raided. Obviously, he wasn't arrested. He was... Um, on a plane, I believe, somewhere near St. Bart's or in the Caribbean somewhere, and he uh, was able to leave the country. Obviously, there's no warrant out for his arrest. We would know about that. So something is going on. Um, do I necessarily believe everything I see? No. I'm, I've gotten a bit past that in the past three years. So we'll wait and see. And I think everybody has a right to have a, their day in court. I'm not going to be a hypocrite. I, I, I you know... You don't know. You know, you don't know. And by the way, I'm still waiting on the list from Epstein. How stuff. crazy. Yeah, and oh, I, you mm. know what I'm, look, I'm waiting for? Show us one minute from one of the cameras that he had in his house. Just one of them. Because uh, a, a report came out yesterday that uh, somebody showed a little camera when they did the FBI raid. They were everywhere in the house. But that's little what they do. Camera. That's what they do to blackmail you. I saw, I saw it in, um, with Trump, with Mar-a-Lago. Um, and I was with the president when that raid happened. I was with him in New York. Oh, wow. And... I, I was sitting there when we got the call that your home is currently being raided, raided. and over documents, over, doc, over documents. And he had a right to have that Biden didn't. Mm -hmm. OK, so so we're sitting here watching this hypocrisy. And and I have to say, you don't know. You know, he he I never know. You know, he had an ex-girlfriend, I think, that was upset or ex-fiance. She made accusations. They obviously have to do what they have to do to investigate those. Those are serious crimes, sex trafficking, real sex trafficking. And While Diddy hasn't been arrested yet, more information's continued to come out in the wake of all those raids, including the ones that were done at two of his properties. And that all Diddy's electronics was seized, too. My, I Rumors I on the somewhere. street, he uh, he just won a... He settles racism lawsuit against... Yeah, it might be even for like a couple billion or something like oh, that. Oh, watch it. So it, he basically just got to stay out of jail. That's and then he can go off into the sunset. Well, he settled with Cassie in like a minute, and that well, was his girl for like I don't know a if he decade or so. With, I don't know if he settled with her in a minute. 
like in order for those that information to hit the blogs, mm -hmm. they're probably going back and forth for a while, and then he's not paying. And, and she's like, I'm like, talking. Well, I'm going to talk. And then they're like, no, you're not. Okay. And then she did. And now. 30 million. Yeah. Just to be like, shh. Within 24 hours. Wow. Yeah. After she went public. Wow. Not but, even 24 hours. And then she came back and she said, we were able to settle things out. Or mm -hmm. I don't know what the words was she used. But, you know, it, it, I'm, I'm, all these other things that's going on with the guys and Meek Mill. Who called them out, by the way? Forget about Tate. But somehow, which rapper was it that went after... Uh, is it 50 that he 50 has a problem? Cent. Who is the person that always goes after Well, 50, 50 is always going after. 50 is the man. But, my, yeah. but 50, is, and if you're on 50's bad side, bro, God bless you, man. <laughs> and may God protect you because he is not letting that foot off your neck ever. Yeah, with Floyd, ever. Ja Rule, Floyd Mayweather, <laughs> oh, he does not. He's that lawsuit that we talked about in November when Cassie sued yeah. Diddy. And at the time, you and I talked about how incredibly foolish it was for Diddy not to settle the case before the allegations went became public. And mm. he settled it the very next day, and apparently the parties were about $10 million apart, but Cassie was with Diddy for a decade, and she mm. knew where the bodies were buried, and she spilled it all out. And that encouraged other victims to come forward, and there was a lawsuit after a lawsuit alleging that Diddy and others had engaged in sex trafficking. So now it's gone from a civil lawsuit, which is about money, to a mm -hmm. full-blown criminal investigation and a very serious one that's based out of the Southern District of New York, probably the most prestigious prosecutor's office in the country. And mm -hmm. federal agents executed two search warrants, one in Miami and one a mile away from where I live here in Los Angeles with a lot of armed federal agents who went into the home and they're looking for evidence of criminal activity, primarily okay. sex trafficking, like you talked about, Christina, but other crimes as well. Add gun and firearm charges, and we're talking about someone who may spend decades in federal prison, like R. Kelly, and this is why. Under federal law, if someone is convicted of even one count of sex trafficking, it carries a minimum 10 or 15 year prison sentence minimum. The judge can't go any lower for each count depending on the age of the victim. So there is a potential that Diddy could spend the rest of his life in prison. Oh, very real possibility. I wouldn't mm -hmm. be surprised if this is another Jeffrey Epstein or an R. Kelly type case where we're talking about multiple victims across multiple jurisdictions mm -hmm. over a significant period of time. And again, these are just allegations. Nothing's been proven yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if Diddy is arrested in the coming days or weeks, and he's going to have to face these charges. And there's no possible plea that is going to get him off with a slap on the mm -hmm. wrist or probation. The prosecutors are successful and able to prove it. He may end up dying in prison.